LCA is an internationally recognized and standardized method for assessing the environmental impacts of a product or service from cradle to grave. These product-oriented approaches can lead to significant environmental gains, but without questioning lifestyles to meet the environmental challenges facing humanity. The pioneering work carried out by the ELSA team has made it possible to broaden the methodological framework of LCA to assess the environmental performance of territories as a whole. The territory is actually the appropriate scale for achieving more in-depth changes in our modes of production and consumption and for addressing the challenges raised by the ecological transition. Let us take the example of a local authority that is drawing up a planning strategy for a large urban area as part of a sustainable development project. Many questions arise. Is it possible to combine economic and social development and the environment? For example, the preservation of natural areas while hosting or developing activities that consume land, agriculture, tourism, etc. How to ensure that local development does not generate impacts on other territories? Before committing to any future-oriented work, it is necessary to establish a diagnosis highlighting the main environmental issues at stake in the territory and in the rest of the world, which activities contribute the most to the impacts on human health, ecosystems and natural resources. Are the indirect impacts generated around the world by the use of raw materials, energy or imported products significant? Territorial LCA makes it possible to perform this diagnosis by quantifying the in-site and off-site part of the impacts linked to the production and consumption activities of the territory. These impacts are grouped into damage to human health, to the quality of ecosystems and to resources. A map of the territory can also be produced to identify the biggest contributors to impacts. On the basis of these territorial diagnoses, local stakeholders can then design and compare the environmental performance of different development scenarios. Let us take the example of two contrasting scenarios. One of them strengthens industrial production to support the local economy, while the other is more oriented towards tourism and hosting residents. In the end, the impacts of these scenarios are very different but to compare them directly would be a mistake, as they do not provide the same basket of services. These scenarios allow for the generation of wealth, employment or accommodation of populations at different levels. Thus, scenario A reinforces the industrial activity of the territory. Scenario B allows for a larger population to settle in. It is necessary to take these services into account when assessing the environmental performance of the scenarios. For each scenario studied, we therefore quantify an eco-efficiency, i.e. a ratio between the services provided and the environmental impacts. The idea is to identify the scenarios that provide the most services for each unit of impact. Thus, for every ton of greenhouse gases emitted, 4.8 jobs are created in Scenario A and 13 jobs in Scenario B. Scenario B is therefore more than twice as eco-efficient as Scenario A for this category of impact. This concept must be applied to all services provided and impact categories. By seeking to improve the eco-efficiency of development scenarios, stakeholders should come up with more disruptive scenarios that thoroughly reconsider our production and consumption patterns. Thus, applying LCA at the scale of territories should allow much more substantial gains in the environmental performance of our societies with regard to biodiversity and climate issues.